Selamat malam. Good evening, everyone. Shout out to my girlfriend who made this wallpaper for me. <laughs> okay, so in this video, as the title suggests, I want to show you how uh, I do all the latency tests and you know explain this once and for all. So I could refer to this whenever someone asks me how I do the latency tests and that sort of stuff. So we're going to cover the basics here, how I record, how I edit, and what are the formula that I'm using. So it'll all be clear. And also how I, like when I start counting, basically this is the time and when i stop i'm going to explain all those to you today so make sure to leave a thumbs up if you find these videos useful and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and let's get straight into how i record it so this will be the basics and you can see here basically uh these are all my writings if i disable that i have my you know my original recording and this recording as you can see on the top right here is a 60 frames per second video file you can see here it's actually 59.94 and you know it messes up with the time a little bit but as we can see later we are measuring like not that much in detail down into you know the milli millisecond uh, so uh, we're just gonna be okay with that and also the timeline we're using is 23.94 i mean 23.98 so maybe it balances out the uh, odd number here on the 59.94 but i'm going to refer to this as 60p and also the timeline the edit is a 24p timeline okay so now uh if we can agree on that i'm going to you know, re-enable all these writings and basically let's check out this note that i uh, just made up here so why i record on 60 frames per second not on 20 frames per second or 30 frames per second or 120 that's because actually this is what my camera is capable at and at 60 frames per second uh, that means every one second there will be 60 frames 50 different images that make up one you know moving video file right that means one frame if we divide uh, one divided by 60, that means we got 0.17 seconds every frame. So this is the detail that we're gonna work at. Uh, actually, if I record at my usual 24 frames per second, it will be 0.42 seconds, which is basically if you miss one frame that you're gonna be plus minus point like half a second off so this is the best i can do right now so now that we have that right i'm recording at 60p and now i'm editing at 24p and as you can see here in 60p that means every 24 frames that will be 400 millisecond so what can we see here in this usual normal timing uh, there will be like some frame skipping or frame doubling so we don't care about that the only thing that we care about is this 40 percent speed here because when i slow the 60p down right the point is if i slow the 60 frames per second footage by 40 percent i'm sorry okay and we can see here we got 24 frames so we got the exact number that we have on the timeline edit here maybe you don't get it right now because this is very new to you but that's how it goes basically every frame in this you know as you can see i'm moving up one by one frame and as you can see my thumb will move at every frame so we are recording in 0.17 seconds detail right now so now you got it right and now every 24 frames that we see here as you can see here this is the hour time this is the minute and this is the second and this is the frame okay and when it reaches 24 the second adds up but this actually means only 400 millisecond all right so now we know that uh, let's start trying to count uh, where this you know where I start counting and actually I also took the touch latency in the overall counting here because I want to show you the real like experience that you'll get when you're playing with this kind of setup you know a phone connected wirelessly to a true earbuds and in this one as I move 
frame by frame here you can see my screen only changes at this frame so this frame that you see is always on the right side of the red line here all right so as you can see nothing is moving here and sometimes the frame doesn't change all the way like across the screen as we can see here on the QCYT4 test as you can see here if I move back one frame you can see only this part of the screen that moves so as I move back and forth here you can see that's actually where I will start counting as well as you can see if I start counting I will put this uh, indicator into red color so there you go now you know how I start that's when I start right when we see a change in the screen and I'm gonna keep counting there you go I'm moving one frame by one frame and as you can see here uh, the screen doesn't refresh all the way across the screen sometimes it wobbles only refreshes on one part then the other and this is the point can you see the waveform here the audio waveform that's uh, collected from this microphone that's actually it starts right here but there actually has no sound in this part so what I do is I would move on forward like a couple more frames until I hear this there you go so there's like a little glitchy sound there and that's where I stop counting basically from when I see a movement on the screen until I hear the sound so that's basically this part this red part you can see right here and now I can see the duration of this red part and it's gonna be one second and again one second in this timeline 24p timeline that will be a 24 so 24 divided by 24 times 6 I mean sorry 40% that will be what we knew here every 24 frames means 400 millisecond so this is the formula I came up with put the frame that we get here divided by 24 then times 40% to you know calculate the hundred I mean sorry a thousand millisecond time here so as you can see this is a 24 frames lag and there you go 24 divided by 24 times 40 equals to 400 millisecond that's why you see the 400 millisecond number here if we move on to the next one here I also did this one and you can see here I move frame by frame and there's no movement at all so far if I move until this point then you know the guns start firing and if I move again I'm no longer ending the counting until this part but I look forward until the sound comes out which is at this point so now we see 23 frames and now we input that number here 23 divided by 24 times 40 percent that means 300 and I usually uh, round this number the last number up here so 384 millisecond so that's basically how I do the latency test the YouTube app is basically the same thing uh, I slow down usually you know, like when this reaches at the peak top here and I'm gonna do a cut here let it run two times and there you go make another cut slow this down to 40 percent and put this marker correctly and now you can see until when I'm gonna wait until the red dot comes out which is wait a second right now there you go this frame so I'm gonna put this right here and when it will start coming out like the sound there you go there you go that's the sound and this is a seven frame latency so seven frame that's pretty well usually Qualcomm chips perform this well this is the normal latency 117 millisecond so 117 millisecond all right so there you go that's pretty much it how I do the latency test and these are all the notes I hope this helps you understand the calculation and the formula behind all those numbers that you see on my latency test 
And yeah, I'm not sure if anyone else is also doing this. I think I'm pretty much the only one. But yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please do give this video a thumbs up. Look forward to my full review of the Halo T19. And also I'm working on a lot more here. Tranya, Transfire Onyx Ace, Q2IT7, and also some Realme products here as well. So yeah, I've got a lot of work to do. So. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. That's been it. I'm Kenneth. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one. Bye.